Dale McKay is back to serve up the perfect summer fish recipe using the basil oil we made earlier. That's our daily dish. If you are following along at home, here's what you'll need for the sauce in this recipe. You need local asparagus, lemon zest and juice, capers, shallots, chili flakes, and basil oil. Okay, I can't wait, Chef. Where do we start? Uh, a really beautiful summery dish. This is absolutely my favorite time of year, especially in Saskatchewan. Uh, things start kind of cropping up. Uh, one of the things that uh, I love the most is asparagus. A lot of people don't realize how much asparagus Saskatchewan grows, even people here in Saskatchewan. So I have this beautiful raw asparagus. As you can see, it's nice and kind of thin. I think asparagus is one of those things that people constantly overcook or they stress out about cooking. Mm -hmm. uh, when realistically, when it's fresh like this, you don't have to cook it very much, very long. So I've just taken some raw pieces here. I've just uh, thrown them in here. I've got some oil in here. Uh, talking about infused oils, I have a garlic lemon oil here. So I'm just lightly sauteing these asparagus in here. We're going to finish with our beautiful basil oil that we made earlier. Mm -hmm. Okay, I so, love that you're, you're doing next, uh, uh, asparagus because we all get excited every year when it's asparagus season. Go right ahead. What are you putting in next? Uh, so then I have some corn. Same thing with corn. Corn, uh, I think people overcook it a lot. I think they're worried about it being crunchy. I love when corn has a little bit of crunch left to it because it gives that really uh, lovely pop of, uh, of sweetness. Uh, then I have some tomatoes here, just slightly quartered, uh, throwing that in here. And again, you can make this for one person. You make this for six people. It's literally going to take two minutes to make the whole thing. And it's going to turn into somewhat of almost like a sauce. So this is bacon I've just kind of crisped up earlier. Then we have some capers. I love capers. Mm. Really, really great acidity. So I'm going to give a good handful in there. And then also uh, some shallots. Shallots are like the baby of the onion family. If you don't use them, I love them. They're great for little sautés here. Uh, a little bit of chili flakes just to kind of bring a little, not really heat, but just kind of bring a few things out there. And we are going to be doing it with uh, one of my favorite fishes in the world. Uh, this is walleye. Uh, so this is uh, uh, line caught about three or four hours from Saskatoon up in La Range. Uh, it's a beautiful, clean, clean fish. All, we're, all we really did was clean the fish, a little bit of olive oil, and then we baked it for two to three minutes. And we're going to pair that perfectly with our kind of fresh kind of little saute or fricassee vegetables. Now, I, chef, you, I wish you could smell it. So I know. Can, I'm it, sure it smells amazing. Now, every fish is definitely their, their own identity. But what would you what would you liken a walleye yeah. to? Like what fish is close to a walleye? Uh, if you were to compare it, it could be close to a turbot or a halibut almost. Uh, it just has a really, really clean, beautiful flavor. Uh, really, really flaky. I find it quite delicate. Uh, just to jump back to this, I'm going to take a little bit of this caper juice and put that in there because that's going to help kind of almost grab it a little bit of body. But caper juice has that beautiful kind of brininess flavor that I absolutely love and it's going to go really, really well. So I'm going to take a spoon of this. I'm going to put it on the plate like that. And then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to grab my walleye. Like that. And then I'm going to take a bit more. I'm going to put that right on top. Nice. Like that. And now that we have that beautiful basil oil, we're going to take that as what I like to call a finishing oil. So I'm going to drizzle on that. And realistically, you can't put too much depending on how much basil you like. As you can see, beautiful kind of summer dish there. And honestly, it took, you know, a matter of a few minutes of just taking beautiful fresh ingredients that you can get all at your farmer's markets at your local markets. And it's going to be an absolutely stunning delicious dish. I'm, I'm actually getting really excited because my mouth's watering and smelling it. Listen, I am sure that it is a delicious recipe, but also I got to say for folks that want to lighten it up for the summer months, this is perfect with that mix of fresh vegetables mm -hmm. and using like such a nice light flaky fish. Now you mentioned that you use the basil oil in the recipe. You've got it in the squirt bottle, which I love because then you can pretend yep. to be like plating like a chef. How long is it going to last just in exactly. the squirt bottle in the <laughs> fridge, chef? Uh, you can keep it in there for at least a month. Uh, the only thing that's going to happen to it is it's going to lightly die out in flavor. Yeah. Nothing's going to go wrong. It's not going to go off or anything like that. You're just going to find that the flavor of intensity is going to slightly go down. It, mi it might not be as vibrant color, but if that's not your problem, uh, then it it's going to keep for months and months. Chef, thank you so much for that great recipe. I know our viewers at home can't wait to try it. You go ahead. Dave.